family dynamics can be very challenging, especially around the holidays. Oftentimes, you can predict a stressful conversation before your relatives even arrive. From your aunt telling your cousin she needs to lose weight, to your grandfather asking your sister if she's going to get a real job, you know how it goes. Joining me now is personal development expert Cloris Kylie with advice to keep you sane this time of year. Welcome back to the show, Cloris. I think a lot of people are going to want to tune into this segment because the holidays can be very overwhelming with a lot of dis different personalities in the same room. Definitely. It's something that affects all of us, including me. <laughs> I used to be a, a chubby little, little girl, so I remember we were sitting around the table at this big family dinner, and uh, I went to grab a, an extra piece of chicken, and, and my aunt said loud enough for everybody to hear, well, doesn't she love food? And it shows. And oh, I, I still no remember. No filter. So, yeah, so, you know, I, we don't want anybody to ruin your holidays. That's true. So we, you have a couple of tips we're going to go over. The first one you recommend is upgrade your expectations. I guess you can't go into it with a bad attitude. Well, what happens is you are used to your relatives behaving a certain way. So you expect them to do the same. And what happens is that you greet them with that expectation. So you go, oh, hello. And they'll, they'll <laughs> sense that. You're already on edge, right? Before right. You get there. So they'll say, what's wrong? Did you get fired again? Oh. Did you break up with your boyfriend? I never liked him anyway. <laughs> and you go, no, we're still together. And that's it. That's the whole evening. That makes so, sense, yeah. So you have to say this year it will be different. This year you are prepared. And because you're prepared, then things will go well. So what do you say if they ask you, hey, what's going on? What's wrong with you? That's when you say, well, I think that extra piece of pie did an hour in my stomach. I'll be right back. <laughs> there you go. And you walk away, right? A graceful exit. Um, so tip number two here is don't talk. Engage them in different types of activities. Like, w what do you mean by that? Well, catch. All right. If we do this the whole segment, they'll send us the commercial break. But besides <laughs> that, we'll forget what we're talking about. That's true. We have to so, concentrate on that instead. That's right. So that's the whole point. Bring a activities for your uh, relatives to do. You could bring a Monopoly game or just say, okay, dance competition, everybody, or uh, sing a song. Anything that you feel will get people engaged. Mm -hmm. And with time, they'll say, well, you know, Teresa, she's a lot of fun. They won't try to find what's wrong about you. Uh, and that's the whole point. There you go. I like that one. The next one you say, compliment and ask questions. I suppose this is because people like talking about themselves. They love it. And <laughs> everybody does. And what you can do is before you go to this holiday, again, you want to be prepared ahead of time. Mm -hmm. You think of all the positive things about your relatives. And sometimes this question is, is actually really hard to answer. But there has to be something that you like about them. Mm -hmm. Even if it's that they have white teeth. <laughs> so just find a way to compliment them on, on anything. And it has to be authentic. It can be something like, oh, I, I love your feather hat. <laughs> you know, it can be it was something that you really feel, that you, you are honest about it. And they'll sense that. Mm -hmm. Then ask them, how do you make this dessert? Now, how do you make this uh, pumpkin pie? Kind of engage them in something that they're familiar with or something exactly. they like talking about. Yeah, so get them going. Get them get them in, engaged and, and, and just feeling good about the whole interaction. And what about just serving them a glass of wine? Does that help? That helps too. <laughs> or some of the cookies we have today. That's another great idea. Uh, so what do you do uh, if they're just really personal? Assistant. Sometimes, you know, you, you have family members that just want to pick a fight. Well, if that happens, then it's, it's a time to walk away. Mm -hmm. You can say, oh, I'll be right back. I have to talk to someone else or I need to get myself a glass of wine or water. <laughs> That's when you have to make a quick exit. Just break that dynamic and things will change. Mm -hmm. um, again, it's, it's a matter of enjoying the time, enjoying your time together. Just think it's not the whole year. It's just one time. It's, so true. it's only a couple holidays. It's not supposed to be stressful, right? That's right. And you, you can get through it. There you go. And uh, of course, where do we find more information about you? You can find everything on my website. That's chloriskylie.com. And I do have a free book right now, ebook for download. So I invite you to go there and, and check it out. We'll find it. Thank you so much for the information. Yeah, thank you. Uh